Heat and drought are the leading cause of crop loss worldwide, and future generations will be challenged to generate enough food. By year 2100, uh, it's predicted that devastating heat and drought waves will become the norm. So it's important that we understand how plants are actually mitigating heat stress if we're going to be able to improve their tolerance moving forward. However, we're still limited by the lack of understanding on the molecular mechanisms involved. What we do know is that heat can have devastating effects on plant growth by disrupting the normal protein folding within the cell. Proteins are the fundamental machinery that allow plants to survive. You can think of each cell as a collection of protein machines. However, each of these proteins must be folded into their proper form prior to having any biological function, much like a pair of shoelaces. A pair of untied shoelaces lack form, and therefore your shoes lack function, and they even come with some safety hazards. Uh, heat can be so devastating to plants because it causes these proteins to unfold and misfold irregularly. And if this is left unchecked, it can have detrimental consequences to the cell and ultimately lead to plant death. Now my project focuses on an important protein known as protein disulfide isomerase 9, or PDI9. And PDI9 um, it plays an important role because it prevents the accumulation of these unfolded and misfolded proteins. And it does so by properly folding proteins. You can think of it as the hands that are tying the shoelaces. We discovered that PDI9 has an important role in mitigating against heat-induced damage in plants. However, there's still much still unknown about the specific role that it plays with these types of responses as well as what proteins it's actually folding. I hope to reveal many of these mechanisms. And by doing different interaction assays, I've discovered a novel partner of PDI9 that's important for detecting the heat stress and then telling the cell to respond appropriately and upregulate its protein folding capacity, thereby promoting survival and adaptation from the stress. By doing this, we've opened many doors into better understanding how, these, how plants are mitigating these types of stress, such as heat and drought stress, at a molecular level, and hopefully this can broaden our understanding and improve our, our strategies at um, proving their tolerance to heat moving forward. Thank you.